is from Plata, and I'm going to demonstrate the concepts of solubility and equilibrium to um, I don't know if you guys know about equilibrium yet, but I can explain it to you in a certain type of analogy. You know those um, eyeglasses that change color when you step out into the sun? Yeah. And then change back when you're back inside? Well, that's technically an equilibrium reaction. And what happens is you add energy to the glasses, the chemicals in the glasses, and that turns it black. And then when you step out of um, the sun, you're taking away the energy and it, the reaction reverses. So that's basically what's going to happen here. It's a color change experiment, traffic light reaction, and it's going to go from a standing color to red to green. So first we need a solution A, and it's dextrose and sodium hydroxide. I have um, 3 grams of dextrose and 5 grams of sodium hydroxide and 250 milliliters of distilled water. And you want to measure out about 50 milliliters or so of solution A. And then you're going to pour it into your jar or flask or whatever you have. And now we need an indicator. And right now I'm going to use indigo carmine. And you'd want to have about 5 to 10 milliliters of that. And then you're going to put it in the glass as well. It's not well. <laughs> Okay, and then you're going to seal your flask or jar, and now you can see it's turning like an orangey, rusty color. Usually it should be like pale yellow to this color. You don't want anything different from that. And now I'm going to swirl, and by swirling I'm adding oxygen, but very little. And you can see it turns red. And now I'm going to shake, and it turns green. So you can see why it's called a traffic light reaction because it goes from red to green. And it turned green because I added even more oxygen this time by shaking it and I uh, upset the system. So basically when it was in a rusty color, it was in equilibrium. And after swirling it, I added oxygen, upset the system, and it turned red. And after shaking it, it turned green because I added even more oxygen. And now if I let it sit for a while, it should be come back to its standing color. And that's basically equilibrium for you guys. Let's drop!